Hello guys and uh, welcome to my garden in Sweden. As I promised you in the last uh, eco dyeing recording, I would uh, take you through it step by step and I'm going to do that today. I have recorded uh, several videos earlier about eco dyeing but uh, in different uh, colors with different papers and uh, with textile so um, I'm going to do this basic recording where I'm going to tell you what you need to do, what uh, type of uh, material you need and how to do the rinsing afterwards when you have done your dyeing. So um, I have uh, chosen to do it with uh, pictures because I can uh, show the picture and then write upon it what you are going to use and do. So um, I hope this will help you in your process of starting eco dyeing. See you soon again. Bye bye from Sweden. The first thing you need to do is to go outside and pick some uh, flowers and leaves. By adding iron powder, some vinegar and alum, you can get uh, better prints. Also some color can uh, help you do the prints a lot better. So uh, then it's time to layer all your flowers and uh, spray some uh, water in between them. Then just follow the uh, written descriptions above and uh, start having fun with your plants and papers. And uh, the next day it's uh, time to uh, see the result. I uh, always put a bit of textile in uh, the bottom of the container and also on uh, top of the papers. That helps the papers stay in place and you get some fun prints on the textile for free. So this is the top layer of uh, my papers. And as you can see, they are beautiful and uh, got nice prints. So um, it's a bit tricky if you have very thin paper to uh, get the plants off. But I am um, using uh, my tool and uh, just picking them up one by one or at least the biggest one and uh, later on I will just uh, take my paper and rinse it under the water. These are uh, 120 grams paper so they are a little bit sturdier than uh, ordinary copy paper and uh, that also make the prints a lot better. So. Um, here you can see I'm just holding my paper straight and rinsing it off. Be a bit quick if you can. So you won't keep it under the water too long. Especially if you're using uh, ordinary copy paper. Then you need to be uh, careful with uh, both the water and uh, when you put in the plants so you don't use a lot of stems from uh, different plants they will uh, make holes in the paper so smooth beautiful flowers and leaves and you will get a perfect result trying to uh, get hold uh, of a corner of the paper and then I'm carefully lifting it up. And if you break a paper, don't throw it away. You can always use it in some uh, other projects, smaller pieces for snippets and things like that. You will probably break a few papers in the beginning. I did, but you can uh, 
use them for smaller things. You don't need to have whole papers more than for the journal pages. So then um, I'm taking my iron, a bit of parchment paper, put that on top of the wet paper and drying it. Starting with uh, the pa parchment paper first so that the iron won't uh, stick to the paper. And when I have ironed this for a little while, I'm taking away the parchment paper and iron directly to the paper. Make sure to be light on hand and move your iron all the time so then the paper will dry perfectly. You can also put them uh, outside in the sun and left, left them, leave them to self dry if you think that's easier. Then you can uh, take the whole pile from uh, the container if you want and put it outside and leave it to dry a little bit. It will be easier to get the plants off then. But this is the way I do it and it works perfectly. So um, try different ways and find your own way that will suit you most. So this is the result of my last dyeing and uh, even if I had a lot of blue colors in the water they are still uh, not totally blue, more grayish but uh, the blue color makes the yellowish tone in the plants a bit toned down to more like green and that's how I like it. So um, I hope you uh, get some ideas and inspiration to try it and uh, that this will help you to find your courage to try. So um, if you have any questions please uh, write in the uh, description box below or send me an email and I will try to answer your questions. So thank you so much for uh, keeping me company and um, see you soon again. Bye bye from Sweden.